Because I think I wanted to um, be involved in the impossible because of this I like the script very much, and for me that's always the first um, box that you have to tick is the script, regardless of who else is going to be in the movie or who's directing it. I think if a script is not um, really good, you know, it's, it's it's harder to make a really good film out of that. So I like the script very much. I like something of very there's something very um, uh, honest and true about it, and in a simplicity, in a way, uh, that made it very brutal, made it very vivid, which I liked. And then um, I, I like Bayona's film, The Orphanage, very much, so I was interested to meet him and work with him. And, um, and to work with Naomi again, because I, I made a film with Naomi some years ago um, called Stay in New York um, with Mark Forrester. And, uh, so it's always nice to work with somebody that you've worked with before. I wanted very much to um, do this film because I'm a father. You know, I've, I have four children now, and I've never really explored play, being a parent in a film before. And it's odd, because I've been a father for 15 years, and yet I've never really pl played... No, I can't think of one, but I've never really played a dad or explored what it means to be a dad. And um, so because I wanted to... Because I wanted to do that with this film, I felt that I wanted to make Henry much more like me. Because I, I felt like I could play a character or I could... But I wanted to, I wanted to um, explore being a parent against this terrible backdrop, this horrible disaster. Um, and I thought I, but I thought the most effective way to do that was just to play him as me. So I use my own voice, I don't use an accent or... I didn't make any um, attempt to sound English as opposed to Scottish because my children don't have Scottish accents and, um, uh, you know, they've grown up with me all their life. So it doesn't, it, there was no need for him to be English just because the children have English accents. It was important with this film not to make moments heroic or to try and make the family look like they, they all survived because they were so brave or heroic or clever because the truth of the matter is that really brave, clever people died and... Uh, Brave, clever people survived. It was a lottery. There was no, there's no, um, I, I, and it's important that I think that that's the message. That, well, not the message, but I think it's important that that's that comes across in the film. What informed me more was that were the sets, the amazing sets that our designer built. You know, these incredible, devastated areas and um, the orchid to turn the orchid into a, you know, we shot a pre-tsunami orchid. And very few days later, we shot a post tsunami orchid, and that was really quite impressive. And I think that the surround seeing those, you know, the images that you've seen, the real images that we'd all seen on paper, to see them kind of come alive like that was really, uh, really incredible. I mean, I suppose in the general, in the big sense of it, it's very difficult for people to grasp the scale of a disaster like this. It's very complicated to, to get your mind around something that killed hundred, you know, thousands and thousands of people. And um, maybe by watching one family's experience through something like this, it gives us a greater understanding of that. And then when something like this happens again, maybe people will relate more to the suffering and the, the, the trauma of that kind of event and, and be more willing to help. I mean, that would be, that would be a nice goal if there was one and um, it was wonderful watching Tom who'd, who had experience of acting because he spent two years playing Billy Elliot but he'd never worked on a, a front of a camera before and it was wonderful to watch him really get it and, and learn or you could see him grow as a, as a film actor as we went along and he's really really good I mean he's really really talented and he's, he'll go very very far Tom I think it's nice to, and it was very, we're very easy with one another. And, and the scenes before the tsunami hits, I think, I hope that we we look like a real couple. I mean, I think we both are parents, and we're both in we're both in relationships, and uh, so so we both know, or at least I think we both know what we were trying to make it feel like. I've enjoyed working with him very much. Yeah, he's he's. You know, it's a big, it's a big film. I think, um, I think it's a, I think it's a huge, a huge thing to tackle. After making one movie, to to 
make a film of this scale is is a tall order, I think. And um, I think the pressure of that is is difficult for any of any of us to understand. But I think he's dealt with that very well. You know, and 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 my relation, my growing relationship with those two wee boys has been really fantastic. From the beginning, where they were quite shy of me, and they were quite as you and McGregor, the actor, and they were all quite like that. To you know, a month later, just not be, I just never had them. They were never on my lap or crawling on my back or on, you know, they were just always there. And I really liked that. And then when we would go off set, they were like, can we come in your trailer? Can we come in your trailer? And sometimes they'd come in my trailer and sometimes I'd say, no, you can't come in my trailer. I need to sit down. <laughs> but I like that. That that will be my favourite memories, working with those two wee boys, yeah. Thank you.